This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We got Tom back on the channel, fresh off the top 64 cut. I do just want to make a couple of apologies before we get stuck into the video. The lighting in here is terrible, but they are not letting me film anywhere else, so we have to take it. And also there's a load of background music, so hopefully we don't get struck. But anyway, so tell us what you played, uh, how it went for you overall in the event and any of that nonsense. Uh, so I played um, Punk Adventurer. Uh, I went 7-2-1 in Swiss, uh, came 52nd place in top cut, and then just got absolutely mauled by Noel McNulty from Tier Zero. Yeah. Um, I made a, like, a massive misplay, which I think, like, I don't think it, it just delayed the inevitable more or less. Um, but he just, like, he opened everything, playing a pretty spicy list. So, like, I have no complaints. Um, it's my first ever Premier event top, so, like, I'm happy regardless. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah, this is uh, it's yeah, it's been a great experience as well. I'm, I've been I've been loving uh, just going to loads of Yu-Gi-Oh events um, more and more now. Try to take the game a bit more seriously, competitively. So. Okay, fair enough. Uh, before we do get stuck in, guys, if you're looking to pick up any Yu-Gi-Oh singles, check out channel sponsors Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description. He's got Rufio 15. Talk very loudly. Soon after to hear this goddamn music. Right, we'll get stuck into profile in just a moment. Right, cool. take us away when you're ready. Okay, so uh, like I said before, we just played uh, Punk Adventurer. Uh, so it's a pretty standard list. I think it's like almost card for card um, Brady Hooker's list from YCS Hartford. Sure. So um, we play the three Enchantress, the one Griffin, uh, three Right, one Faithful, one Draco back. Um, I was debating playing either two Griffin or two Faithful. Yeah. Um, because, uh, so spoiler alert, I play Souls in the deck, so sometimes you, you get rid of this. Um, and just playing the second one of each just gives you like a longer grind game. But typically like games with this deck last like what, uh, maybe two, three turns um, because you're just outing most of what they're doing anyways. Yeah. Uh, so onto the punk stuff. So we play three Foxy Tune, two Xiamen, one Deer Note, one Ogre. I was so close to cutting this card, but in testing it comes up so clutch. Cause if you open up like, uh, if you open up like Foxy Tune plus any other punk card, um, you can like Foxy Tune, uh, discard it, summon Xiamen, Xiamen search this, then search Deer Note, and then that still gets you into your Chaos Ruler play. Yeah. Um, I was testing three, but I don't feel like three is like good enough. You're, you're just adding like more cards to the deck and, and like risking losing to variants. Um, and then on top of that, we played uh, the three Telly, obviously to summon it out, you have to play it at three. It's, uh, you know, your main engine. Yep. Okay, uh, on to the uh, subsidiary engine. So we play the Red Rose package. Uh, pretty standard. It's basically a three plus two off of Halka Fibrax, so like, why aren't you gonna play it? Um, we're playing Souls. Uh, this was so good. I'm seeing people play Sangan and Arborea. Um, I personally just didn't think that you needed like the one card Halks. You're playing um, you're playing hand traps like Valor and Ash that can like get you into your Halk lines. This is a free extender and it also allows you to make a Herald of the Arc Light, which means like so many people are maining droplets right now, you just like they just lose outright to that card. Sure. Um, and then the good one offs we're playing Snow, Jet Synchron, uh, Scythe. Uh, why did they unban this? Why did they unban this? Konami, please ban this. Uh, Foolish Burial, Called by the Grave. Um, this has more utility than just sending uh, Enchantress in this deck, which is really nice. Uh, onto Hand Traps. Uh, three Ash, three Valor, three Crow, and uh, three Droplet uh, as like a going second card. Um, so this was like originally Droll, I think, in Brady Hooker's list. Uh, I changed to Crow because I wanted a card that I could like add off of Chaos Ruler that's just like generically good against every single matchup, um, which is obviously like Ash Valor and like some of the best hand traps in this format. And then like Crow was the next best. Um, you could argue like playing Nibiru, but at that point, you're, you know, if you come up against control matchups, you're just drawing dead cards and this like can help against Elf Lich and stuff. So uh, that was 43 cards in the main, uh, onto the extra deck. So we just played the Anima. Um, I preferred Anima over Link Karibo just because like, um, I am playing Nib in the side, so being able to just steal uh, steal a Nib or uh, punish my opponents for like bad card placement, pretty nice. Uh, Link 2s, we play Hulk, Dagda. Uh, this is the new uh, DPE combo. Um, yeah, this, this at one is very relevant. Um, onto the threes. Uh, one Unicorn, one Selene, um, basically for the same reason, because uh, we're playing access code. Um, it's just this allows you to play under certain things and um, sometimes you want to actually have the utility to spin a card back. Uh, and then, uh, it's not very spicy, but uh, the, the one change I made was I played uh, Appaloosa. 
So I'm not playing um, in the side deck, I'm not playing uh, the Necro or Banshee package. Uh, so I needed some kind of like, almost like main deck out to like Flunder and stuff. Um, and I found out if you make this card, they just kind of uh, like shit themselves. They don't really know what to do after that. Um, and then the uh, Synchros, so Herald of the Arclight. Um, this can essentially be an FTK if like the only negates that your opponent is playing is Droplet because they just can't out it. They have to like use a normal summon to then be able to send it from field to negate your board. Um, and at that point, you're just like, you're probably just that far ahead. Uh, Wonder Magician for the Scythe, Shooting Riser for the Snow, uh, Chaos Ruler. Um, this card is insane. This, this card gives you way too much advantage. Um, Painful choice, who knew? It's a good card. <laughs> exactly. Um, Hot Red, uh, this uh, actually very seldom came up. But when it did, it did it did win me the game. I don't think I would cut this. Uh, Baron de Fleur, uh, Cheng Ying, which, um, so if people haven't seen like the other profiles, basically if you have Baron and you don't use the negate, um, when you set up your uh, your Scythe Wonder Magician line, uh, you go chain link to and synchro summon into this. Uh, when you prop your, uh, your snow, this then triggers, allowing you to just banish another two cards for free, which is a really nice interaction. Um, and then Psychic and Punisher just for like uh, finishing games very quickly. Fucked. It's so it's so insane. This is like the best level eleven synchro, um, in my opinion, like one of the best cards out of Difo as well. Sure. Uh, for side deck, um, I wanted to play uh, like five three offs um, because like I don't know, I, did, I didn't feel like playing the one off the small engines. It like really restricted my um, my deck building. Uh, so I just decided to go for three nib. Um, I took a bit of uh, like like the idea of like how Po Jiang, uh, the striker player, played in uh, the finals of YSS Hartford. You um, like if you add this off of Chaos Ruler and you're playing against Combo, uh, again they're just going to shit themselves because they have to like out your board as well as play under Nibiru, which is just like borderline impossible. Um, triple Token Collector. A lot of people are playing one, but like, what if you go what if you go second against Sword Soul? Like you and like if you don't open Cracked. Or you don't open token collector, you can just kind of lose the game due to like having like way less advantage than your opponent. So playing three is definitely the correct call. Uh, triple twin, um, like back row decks and stuff, pretty simple as that. Uh, same thing with the evenly matched. But this is also for mid range, just being able to punish my opponent, um, get down to one card and then just combo them out. And the last card was triple dark ruler. Um, I was playing things like Draw, I was testing things, uh, like spe specifically Draw I was testing, but I've just found that this card is way better in more matchups. Yeah. Um, like, dr uh, what, Drytron, uh, the, the, the base matchup, like any combo decks that lose to Draw, they lose even harder to this, and also you can side this in versus Despia, which I was expecting to see a lot of today, but, uh, but funnily enough, I saw no Despia and three striker players, which was amazing, but as you can tell, uh, this comes in clutch against that, and um, yeah, no, I was really happy with the side deck. I'd say it was borderline perfect. I wouldn't change a single card. Awesome, cool. Okay, so any shout outs before we go? Uh, yeah, so I got a couple of shout outs. Uh, shout outs to the boy Toby, best zombie player on his street. Um, shout outs to the boys down at Geek Retreat Chelmsford. Uh, they're basically all of my testing partners. Um, some some of the best players I've come across. Um, massive shout outs to them. Shout outs to Jacob as well. Goes to that locals. He's currently just won his top 64 match. So good on him. Um, Shout out to uh, James and James. Uh, one of those James has forced me to play Crow in the main, actually. It wasn't entirely my choice, but um, if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have won one of my matches. So, uh, massive shout outs to him. Uh, anyone else? Can I think of anyone else? Oh, <laughs> um, the, the Northern Boys, uh, Dan, Adam, and Nathan. Uh, I, I met them online, met them here at the event, and I've just had a massive blast hanging with them and stuff. Um, being able to test with them pretty much. So you all seven. about the boys. Yeah, man, you uh, just it's one of the best places to meet people, and um, I'm so grateful. And uh, obviously, shout outs, shout outs to Konami and Tournament Center for putting on such a great. It's event. been really smooth, hasn't it? It's been really, really smooth. I haven't had any issues. So um, yeah, amazing judge team, amazing organizers. Good stuff. All right. Yeah. Well, congratulations again on Thank your you so much. top 64. It's definitely <laughs> an up from the last time we got a profile from you. Oh, it's a yeah, nice definitely. step up from that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Second place at uh, a little winner box to uh, top 64 at Nationals. It feels big, great. Big jump. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get you an even higher one next time. Hell yeah. All right. Congratulations again. Thank you very much for taking time to do the profile. No worries, I really appreciate you. it. Guys, if you're watching at home and you haven't already, most definitely hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.